what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the redmi k20 pro and today finally i'm gonna install android 12 on the redmi k20 pro and this is the android 12 beta 4.1 based on pixel 5 over here and this particular build is based on android 11 firmware as you can see in the notes it says android 11 firmware is needed and encryption is not supported by the way i have decrypted storage already and i'm on evolution x rom right now if you haven't checked out the latest video of the Evolution X ROM, you can check it out from the cards right there. And here, let me show you still the FOD does not work over here. FOD and NFC won't work even if you have a global Redmi K20 Pro. But if you ask me personally, I have become so much impatient right now because I have tried the Android 12 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and it worked so well. I really want to try on a flagship processor like the Snapdragon 855 with the Android 12. So I'm gonna try it anyway, even though the fingerprint scanner over here does not work. So yes, you have to download this particular file from the description you can find, and this is about two GB. And let me actually show you what files do you need. Before showing all the files and stuff, let me tell you again, I'm on the latest Evolution X version 5.9.1 Infinity official build. If you haven't seen the review of this particular ROM, you can check it out from the cards or the description. Also the flashing guide for this particular ROM will be in the description, do not worry. By the way, I did not show you guys the proper battery life that I have been getting on this Evolution X. So I'm showing this in today's video. As you can see, I have got about five hours, 35 minutes of screen on time with Evolution X with 29% juice left. So yes, I have been getting about six hours of screen on time, which is not great, but it is decent on the Evolution X ROM. So finally, I'm gonna switch to this Android 12 port today. This is the beta 4.1 of Android 12 again, and this is the file, of course. And here, if I go into the firmware, as you can see, this is the firmware that you need of 100 MB. And let me show you actually the name. So this is the file name, as you can see, it shows Rafael in 12.5.1 firmware. You can get it from the description box below, of course. And you have to look at the file size again. This is about 100 MB firmware. So it does not include the vendor. It is just the firmware. So right now I'm going to reboot to the recovery. By the way, I'm on the Orange Fox Recovery version R11.1 underscore 3 version. And I think this is the latest stable version of Orange Fox Recovery for the Redmi K20 Pro. And this is what I'm gonna use today. To remind you guys that my storage is decrypted and I don't have to enter any pin or password. So my device again is decrypted and I use fcrypt disabler every time I flash any kind of ROM. So first you need to go to wipe, but before that make sure you have backed up everything from your storage or your apps and stuff, app data, everything. Make sure you have backed up everything before proceeding and do it on your own risk of course. So first we are gonna select Dalvi cache system vendor and data and then all these five things I'm gonna swipe to wipe. Once that's done let's go to home let's go to files and then first we'll select the firmware. So this is the firmware as you can see 99 MB and I'm gonna select this firmware first as you can see right now you can notice the file name if you want to. So right now I'm gonna go to add to queue and then I'm gonna select the pixel 5 ROM file or the ported zip file over here. This is the actual ROM file and of course it should include the gapps and stuff. Right now I'm gonna add to queue. Then I'm gonna select the fcrypt disabler because I want my storage to get decrypted. That's why I'm selecting this fcrypt disabler and I would recommend you guys going with the decrypted way. Also the developer has mentioned that I guess and over here I'm gonna swipe to install and wait for the time being. So right now it's rebooting to the system automatically because I had that option selected. All right, finally we see a Google boot animation. All right, it shows welcome to your pixel and it shows this Android beta program. I'll click on okay, let's get started. And all these animations just look how beautiful they look right now while doing your setup. And of course, I see the SIM cards network over here. So the SIM cards, Vaulty and stuff should be working fine here. I'll talk about that later on in this video. So right now I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi network. So let's just do it. And right now I'm gonna copy my Google app data backup. So let's just click on next. And I can't use my old phone. So I'm gonna just continue with that because I'm gonna do from the account itself. So I have entered my email over here, but just notice how good the keyboard looks already. As you can see, it has this color tints over here everywhere. So let's just click on next and I'm going to select this particular backup. Just enter the pin over here for the backup and yep, I'm going to restore all of these. So I'll just click on restore 
and let's just accept and continue and pixel imprint option is there i'm not really sure if the figment scanner will work i'm pretty sure it won't work but let's just go with the pixel imprint just enter the pin and stuff so let's just continue and can i set up the figment scanner i do not think so so yeah it doesn't work pretty much and always on display yes i want to turn it on and the control lock screen stuff i'll do that and done for now and right now it's getting my phone ready it shows so let's wait for the time being I'm gonna skip this tape because I know how to swipe up to go home and stuff. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And already I can say the smoothness on this particular device of Android 12 seems to be awesome. So here is how the Android version section looks like. It shows as Android 12 as you can see. And right now if I tap on it, I can see this Android 12's clock. And right now if I just do this, and make it on 12 and as you can see it has this android 12's easter egg over here so let me just go back the security patch is latest of august 5th 2021 and the baseband version shows up over here soviet star kernel it has and the build number is this spb4 it shows over here pretty much it has a pixel dialer over here so let me just see if the vaulty calling is working or not so this is how the volume panel looks like and yes seems like as you can see the vaulty calling or via wi-fi as well is working fine here it shows wi-fi calling right there so yeah vaulty calling should be working fine and of course it has all these beautiful wallpapers as you can see and if you want to go into that let me actually show you you can tap and hold on the home screen and go to wallpaper and styles then you go to change wallpapers and from here you can change between these many wallpapers as you can see also you have the living universe wallpapers and you can download them pretty much this wallpaper over here is from the like previous backup that i had that's what has been restored and here i do not see any camera apps or something so no camera app that you will get over here at least by default talking about the cameras i just installed two gcams one is the latest gcam 8.3 i guess and that is working fine i just took a selfie as you can see the portrait selfie this is working totally fine no issues with that and again another one this is working fine also, the older 7.3 version is working fine. As you can see, this has the 0.66x and the 2x telephoto lens. Night set and stuff, everything should be working fine here with this too. And if you want to get this Gcams, you can check out the card or check out the descriptions. And I just disabled this don't show notification at all in the lock screen. So right now, I can show you the lock screen. Just wait for it. And this is how it looks like. Again, looks amazing in the lock screen as you can see. Once I press the power button, just notice the animation. It looks amazing. And of course, you can swipe up to enter your pin. The fingerprint scanner yet doesn't work as of right now. And we have this quick setting panel just like this. Just notice how beautiful these animations look everywhere in the UI. And can I double tap to sleep? No. So I can just press the power button and this is how the always on display looks like. The time, this big kind of font looks beautiful and it has a little bit of weight. So if you tap on it, it just jumps around. And I just grabbed my Mi power bank quickly so that I can show you the charging animation. Let me show you how it looks. Once you plug in, this is how the animation looks on the always on display. If you haven't noticed that already, let me show you one more time. So this is how it looks like on the always on display and if you are in the lock string it will look like this that looks beautiful so here as you can see the widget i just added it is working super fine to the left of the home screen we still have the google's discover page of course this is the pixel launcher and everywhere it has this stretchiness as you can see if i swipe down just like this it has this stretchiness and this is how you can swipe up to get the app drawer and swiping down of course gets you to the notification or the quick settings panel and this is how the quick setting panel looks like you can reduce or turn up the brightness just like this and you can edit and add multiple toggles over here let me see what toggles we have we have the device controls and stuff so let me just bring it right over here so just added a couple of toggles let me see if these Google Home kind of toggles works fine. Let's turn on this light. So yeah, you might have noticed that light. So yes, it is working super fine. Let me go back over here. And if you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network, 
this is what it will look like let me show you some other options bluetooth should be working fine and flashlight yes as you can see it is working fine now auto rotate should be working fine too we have the battery saver and the screen recorder is also there we can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with this i guess and here we also have the hotspot the do not disturb the night light let me see if it's actually working so yes it is working fine now we have the nearby share the extra dim option and the mic and camera access disabling options and stuff also we have the power menu just like this and you can have the power menu with the power button too of course and if you go into the settings this is how the settings panel will look like let's just jump into the battery settings first and this is how it looks like you can enable the battery percentage from right here and you can see the full battery usage by just tapping over here i guess let me go back we have the adaptive preference and stuff let me go back from here and in the sound and vibration let's see what do we have so we simply don't have the me audio direct or something do not expect those but this is how the volume panel looks like right now and everywhere in the ui it has this a little bit of tint and that tint is from the wallpaper itself so if i change the wallpaper this tint will change as well in the display settings we have the brightness level and stuff and the night light i'll show you a separate video for all the things that this rom has but this is how you can flash the android 12 on the redmi k20 pro and pretty much it is working super fine i guess and I do not see any lags or stutters over here. I'm gonna enjoy Android 12 pretty much because I got quite impatient and I did not wait for the Fumit scanner to work. And in the next builds, I guess, in a couple of builds, the situation will improve on Android 12 for the Redmi K20 Pro. But right now I can see it is working flawlessly pretty much as you can see apps open super fine. And I just opened it for the first time. So it's loading and stuff. Let me open YouTube as well and yeah it seems to be working fine it loads fine right now so yeah everything should be working fine i'll do a separate complete video on this too of course so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know how to flash android 12 on the redmi k20 pro please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now